Okay, exponent review. This is not the first time we've gone over exponents in this class. So I know it's supposed to be a teacher station, but it's just going to have to be a video today. So the laws are on the side. I know they're really small and it's hard to read them. But if you are multiplying matching bases, you add the exponents. If you are doing a power raised to a power, you multiply the exponents. If you are dividing, you subtract the exponents. A negative exponent makes it 1 over a positive exponent, and anything to the 0 is 1. So for number 1, there's no exponent on this parentheses, so the parentheses don't, it doesn't even really matter. Multiply whole numbers. The rule for whole numbers is not changing. So 3 times 4 is going to give me 12. Add your exponents. So I have three x's and one more x, right? Imaginary one. So that's going to be x to the fourth. I have two y's and four more y's. That's going to give me y to the sixth. Number two, this time it does have an exponent. Same rule, I mean normal rules for numbers. That's five squared. So that's 25. Multiply your exponents. Five times two is 10. Multiply your exponents. 3 times 2 is 6. Leave the other piece for now. Now we're basically back to number 1. Multiply the whole numbers. If you have 7 quarters, you have a dollar and 75 cents. Add the exponents. Remember, there's an imaginary 1 if there's nothing there. 11. Add the exponents. Y12. This is our answer. Number 3. Divide. The rule for whole numbers doesn't change. 8 over 24 reduces. In fact, 8 goes into 24. Divide by 8, and you get 1. Divide by 8, and you get 3. So this is going to be 1 third. Okay, where are there more x's? So we have 1, 2, 3 x's on top, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the bottom. So there's more on the bottom, so your answer is going to go on the bottom. Three of those cross out. 5 minus 3, I didn't cross out 3 of them though, sorry. 3 of them cross out. 5 minus 3 leaves x squared on the bottom. You subtract, and what you have left goes on the side that had more. So the y's, there are more on top. 4 minus 2 is going to give me y squared on the top. The 1 in front is kind of optional. Number 4 to the side. Negative exponents put things on the other side. x to the negative 3 is 1 over x cubed. Also, 1 over x to the negative 5 goes to the top as x to the 5th, over 1 if you want, but that's not necessary. So negatives put them on the other side. So I see a negative x on top, I'm going to write that on the bottom, x to positive 3 on the bottom. I see a positive y on top, it stays on the top. Every exponent is only touching one variable, so the, the 5 is only on the y. I see a positive x to the 4 on the bottom, it's going to stay on the bottom. I see a negative y to the negative 1 on the bottom, it's going to move to the top. Matching bases add the exponents, that gives me y to the 6 on the top and x to the 7th on the bottom. Okay, and then lastly, fractional exponents. So when you have x to the power of m over m, m is your power. And the bottom, n, is your root. So when we write x to the 2 thirds, the bottom is the root, cubed root, of x squared. So you do 4 to the 3 halves. The bottom is the root, square root of 4, and the top is the exponent. We learned cubed, 4 cubed, that's one of the ones you have to memorize. 4 cubed is 64. What's the square root of 64? Just 8. Okay, let's do one more, add it somewhere on your paper. 2x to the 4th, y to the ninth over 3xx X to the 7th, y squared, all to the negative 2. So when you have one big thing being raised to a negative, there's lots of ways to do this, by the way. My choice is to flip the whole thing over. Everything that was on the bottom goes to the top. Everything that was on the top goes to the bottom. And that takes care of the negative sign, so now it's just squared. Still more than one way to do this. My choice is to do the insides first. 
So 3 over 2 does not reduce. But I have x to the 7th over x to the 4th. 7 minus 4 is going to give me x cubed on top. There were more on top. Where were there more y's? 2 over 9, there's more y's on the bottom. Subtract and you get y to the 7th on the bottom. We still have that squared. And then now I'm going to square everything. Regular math for whole, for whole numbers. 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. Multiply your exponents. x to the 6th. Multiply your exponents. y to the 14th. 14th. This is our answer. So you need to fill that in, you need to glue it on the page it says, and then you need to do the worksheet that is inside the folder. Notice I did not leave an answer key, and you're going to have to add a little place for a stamp on your passport, because originally it wasn't for a stamp, but now it is. So you should be working on that worksheet now, and if you finish, you should work on the homework on your passport. Hope you guys have a good day.